Believe it or not, I had no idea that my little brother was gay. And when I found out today, uh, but let me tell you, G, I was the only one who didn't know. Mom knew, dad knew. Uncle Kevin called it when you were three. Uh, when I found out, it was a huge shock to me. And I wish I was kidding. Uh, but you can't, you can't really blame me for not knowing because we grew up in bumfuck San Diego. Maybe only for Garrett. to the love of my life. A healthy relationship is listening more than speaking at all times. A healthy relationship is reminding one another of what each other's best self looks like. <laughs> A healthy relationship is gentle. It uses I statements when communicating. A healthy relationship asks questions. It knows what your partner's soft parts are and it never uses them against them. It tastes like your home-cooked meals. It feels like a track day at Laguna Seca for me. It's something you choose because it's good, but something that isn't chosen out of need. I promise to work on us today, tomorrow, and for the rest of our days together. I choose you. I choose us. Bryce, for once in my life, I've struggled to elegantly BS my way to something to say for this. <laughs> and though I know you love moments such as these, full of romanticism and emotion, I will still, if you'll allow me, remain true to myself. A little cold, a little snide, and a little sarcastic. In every frame of reference while looking at how to do this, I heard countless people vow to never change their lover and to let them live just as who they are. I vow to change to be the best me that I can be. I vow to always be whatever you need me to be, to be brave when you are timid, to be your voice of reason when you are lost, to be your friend when you are lonely, <laughs> and to be the fire under your ass if you ever need motivation. <laughs> I love you, Garrett. You're my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you, and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today and all the days of our lives. May we always change each other from here on to be the best we that we can be for each other. I now pronounce to you, Mr. and, Mr. and, <laughs> Bryce and Garrett, everyone. A friend of ours told me that Garrett's MySpace said he was interested in men. I was shocked. Uh, and G and me, we, we didn't hang. We didn't gab. We weren't sitting up all night exchanging tips on sucking D.
The two of you finding each other, finding happiness, and finding a soulmate, there's nothing else like it in the world. Hold each other through the hard times and sadness, through the joy and adventure. Never forget to tell each other that you love one another. Don't ever feel alone because you have a pillar of strength right next to you. Here's to two amazing people separately, and here's to an amazing couple. May you guys be together forever. I love you, Bryce and Garrett. The world is yours. Own it. Garrett and Bryce met in Frisco. Their first date, they went to a disco. They boogied all night, but by dawn's early light, had used up a whole can of Crisco. I had the pleasure of meeting Bryce eight years ago when we both started our very first day at Comerica Bank. The first full sentence he said to me was, uh, Sweetie, you can be the princess, but I'm the queen. And I said, that's fine, but my D is still bigger than yours. I'm sure I'm not alone when I say that Bryce is known as a person who is kind and generous. He has worked hard and long to have accomplished where he is today. He's a beautiful individual inside and out and I'm so blessed to be his mom. My wish for both of you is that today is only a continuation of the happy days together and the love that we have seen. May you learn to cherish each other more and more over years, and may your love for each other grow each passing day.